Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at Keeper Password Manager. Now, I've recently experienced some security issues involving an account of mine, so I searched high and low for some password managers, and that's how I learned about Keeper, and I gave it a try. After spending some time using it, I have a lot of thoughts on it, ranging from the features, prices, accessibility, and a few areas that I wasn't too impressed with. Though, if at any point you want to try Keeper for yourselves, check out the link in the description to get a discount on their plans that you wouldn't get directly from their website. So. Take advantage of that if you're interested. First off, you should know that Keeper is known for its robust security measures to keep your passwords and sensitive information safe. They use strong encryption to scramble your data, making it nearly impossible for anyone to read it without the proper decryption key, which only you have. They also offer features like two-factor authentication, which adds an extra layer of security by requiring you to provide a second form of verification, like a code sent to your phone, in addition to your password. They include a self-destruct feature that wipes out all the information saved on your device if someone tries to log in unsuccessfully multiple times. This helps keep your Keeper account safe if your device is lost or stolen. When self-destruct activates, everything on the device is erased forever, so your private details stay protected. And if you're a paid user, don't worry though, your data will appear once you log in again. In terms of their security history, Keeper hasn't had any major breaches or security incidents that have compromised user data, to my knowledge. They prioritize staying up to date with the latest security standards and often undergo security audits to ensure their systems are as secure as possible. Now, I know that price is important and can dictate whether you buy something, so I just wanted to briefly bring up the pricing for Keeper's plans. So there's the personal and family plan. The personal plan will come out at around three bucks and the family plan will be three dollars more at six dollars. That doesn't tell you whether or not Keeper is good though. So stick around and I'll tell you more about it and then go deeper into the plans themselves. Moreover, my barometer of a solid password manager has changed since I got into using them and seen what kind of things these sites offer with their free versions. I mean, that's supposed to tell you whether you should upgrade, right? And so I explored every nook and cranny of Keeper's 30-day free trial to see if it does anything better than its competitors. Generally, all password managers do more than just manage passwords and Keeper is no different. It also lets you keep files and secret stuff safe. You can also make strong passwords with its tool and share your stuff securely. As setting up your passwords with Keeper is pretty simple. There's two ways you can do it, whether that's importing it from a browser or password manager. This is something I like since I already had passwords saved on Chrome, so it saved me some time to just import them indirectly. Keeper also gives you instructions on how to import passwords from another password manager, which is very much appreciated. To manually input them, you create a new record and choose what you're trying to set up, whether that's login info, bank details, personal ID, and etc. A neat thing that you can do as well is that you can add additional fields in case you want to add more information for a particular record. Sometimes you can find forms that ask questions not available in the default fields, so you can add that info for future reference. However, you can't add your own variations. For example, RoboForm allows you to add string variations, so if you're asked, are you legally married, or do you have a spouse or partner, then you can't add those cases. This is more relevant when you're filling out job applications because you get mostly the same questions, so you can use Keeper to autofill those forms. I set up a fake identity with Keeper by using their identity feature, and I went to try it out to see how responsive the autofill feature is. However, an issue I encountered was I couldn't get Keeper to fill in the form with my ID, which was a bit annoying, until I realized I had to set up another identity so that I could access it from the browser extension. The identity tab is mainly there as a reference if you ever need to check it over, but if you want the autofill feature to work, you have to set up a separate record for that. Now, I know that it seems like I'm dogging on Keeper, but it's got some great features too. One of the things that makes it stand out is their password generation and management tools. With the built-in password generator, you can easily create strong, unique passwords for all your accounts without having to think too hard about it. These passwords are kept safe in Keeper's encrypted vault, where you can organize and manage them however you like. Plus, Keeper lets you add notes, categorize your passwords, and update them whenever you need to, giving you a single place to take care of all your password stuff. Keeper also has a secure sharing feature that lets you safely share passwords and other important stuff with people you trust. This is really handy for families, teams, or anyone who needs to work together while keeping things private. You can choose who you want to share things with and control who sees what, so your sensitive info stays safe even when you're sharing it with others. They also go the extra mile to keep your account secure by offering a helpful feature called a secure security audit. This feature checks all your passwords to see if they're strong enough. It looks for any passwords that might be easy for someone to guess or ones that you've used for multiple accounts. If it finds any issues, it lets you know and gives you tips on how to make your passwords stronger. And 
in cases of emergency, Keeper has a special feature called Emergency Access. With this feature, you can choose certain people you trust, like family members or close friends, who can ask for access to your account information if there's an emergency and you can't get to it yourself. It's like giving them a spare key to your digital stuff. However, I should mention that this isn't available with the free trial. Something particularly unique about Keeper is Keeper Chat, which is like a texting app that keeps your messages and stuff safe from anyone who shouldn't see them. You can send messages, share files, and talk to your friends or groups knowing that everything is encrypted, which means it's really hard for anyone else to read your messages. Only issue with this is that since it's so secure, it doesn't allow access to any recording software, so I can't show you what it looks like, but in essence, it's like Telegram in a way, just with more security precautions. And now let's circle back to the plans. Now, like most password managers, you get a free trial for a month. Keeper's free plan gives you lots of useful tools for keeping your passwords safe, like storing unlimited passwords and accessing them from different devices. But it doesn't have all the fancy extras you get with the paid plans. With the free version, you might not be able to sync your passwords across as many devices. I know that from personal experience. You won't have extra security features like Breach Watch, which helps you know if your passwords have been compromised online, and also that self-destruct feature that I mentioned earlier. Moreover, the two paid plans, named the personal plan, which is $35 annually, and the family plan at $75 offers more perks, like syncing your passwords on all your devices, extra security features, options to customize your settings, detailed reports, emergency access, secure file storage, and faster customer supports. However, if you want Breach Watch and the ability to access your deleted items, and restore them, it'll cost you an additional 30 bucks. But what about the competition? Well, if we're to compare it with something like RoboForm for managing your passwords, it really comes down to what you value most. RoboForm is straightforward and easy to use, perfect if you're new to this whole password management thing. It's also cheaper, which is great if you're looking at your wallet. However, it might not offer all the fancy security features you'd like in Keeper. Keeper focuses more on keeping your data super safe with cool features like Keeper Chat. It's pricier, but it gives you more control and protection. So if you just need something basic, RoboForm works fine, but if you want extra security and don't mind paying a bit more, Keeper's the way to go. But considering all that, would I recommend Keeper? For sure, I, I don't see why not. It does everything you need it to do. Even though Breach Watch and restoring deleted items does cost you, I'd still say it's worth upgrading to the premium version because not a lot of other password managers even provide those features. Even the free version does a solid job of keeping everything under wraps, though I wish it did have the self-destruct feature that you get with the premium plans. Still, it's yet another reason to upgrade. If you'd like a simpler interface and something easier on your wallet, then check out RoboForm. You can also watch my review for RoboForm to get a better idea of what to expect with them. I'll link that in the description as well. And with all that being said, that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys found it informative, and if you have any more questions, then don't hesitate to ask away. As mentioned, you can find our Keeper deals in the description below if you're keen on trying it. Also, while you're down there, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to help us create more videos like this. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time, though, take care.